Hello, everybody. Uh, nice to see everybody. Nice to see uh, lots of uh, familiar faces and uh, new faces as well. So, uh, so my name is Laura Renankowski and I'm an international life and relationship coach. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not an astrologer, but I know a lot about astrology and that's why I give, um, that's why I give these talks. So, um, so yeah, so today it's the new moon in Leo and the Lionsgate uh, portal. So I'll share uh, lots of information about the very uh, powerful energies um, that we're in right now and how we can tap into, into all this uh, fiery energy um, that surrounds us uh, today. So yeah, so here, you know, I have a picture of, um, of a lion, you know, so it's, it's about, uh, you know, this time it's, it's about tapping into that inner lion energy that we all have, right? It's about, you know, giving yourself permission to, to shine, you know, shine like the, like the sun and like a lion to have the courage of a lion, right? To have the courage to go after your dreams and, and your ambitions and, and to have the courage to be your true self, right? To have the courage to shine as your true self right now is, is part of this um, energy as well. And if you see the picture of this lion here, you know, this, it has like, you know, it has like, a, I mean, lions are very confident, right? And they don't even need to think about if they're confident or not. Like they just are confident just because they're, they're the lion, right? They're the, the lion kings, right? So, so it's kind of like a steady confidence if you look at this lion, right? Like, you know, he's there in the, in the savannah and he's, you know, very steadily confident, right? And I mean, that, that's, the, that's the kind of confidence that you want to have. And that's the kind of presence that you want to have, right? We want to have like the confidence and, and the steadiness and the presence of a lion, right? So then that, that in, and that will help you achieve your dreams and, and your ambitions, right? So yeah, so think about, you know, be like this lion, think about this lion and, and you know, embody all those qualities that that, that lion has. So this is another another beautiful picture of a of a of a of a, a full moon, but um. Okay, so the new moon and Leo. So depending on how you look at them, new moons, which are all about new beginnings and starting fresh, you know that's this is a new beginning in 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 all ways. I mean, new moons are always about new beginnings, but as I mentioned as, as I mentioned earlier, especially now. This new beginning, you know, has the energy, you know, it's like a new beginning times 10 right now because we're in this Lionsgate portal and because it's a new moon in Leo, you know, which and Leo really goes after after what it wants, right? Lions go after what they what they want. So now is a is a great time to start um, any project that you've been thinking about that, you know, that you haven't started. You know, now is the is the best time to to start one of those projects. So new beginnings and starting fresh can either be wonderfully refreshing or kind of daunting. And no matter how you think of them, this week's astrological event may be a bit more chaotic than you were expecting. So uh, so on August eighth, there will be a new moon and fiery Leo. And astrologers are already saying it will be super intense. I mean, it's definitely super intense. So are you ready for this intense energy? And of course, ready or not, you know, it's, it's here. So you might as well um, embrace it and not uh, fight it. So one way to think of, of new moons is as a double dose of astrological, um, because during them, the moon and the sun are always in the same sign which is the case now too, right? We're in Leo season, the sun is in Leo and now the new moon is in Leo too. So it's extremely fiery energy right now. So in this case, the new moon is a double dose of the lion's fire and energy. If you've been feeling like the main character, you know, um, you know craving, craving the spotlight in this uh, Leo season, prepare for things to get even spicier as the moon you know, moves, moves into the fire sign uh, too. So this is definitely, you know, not a good time to be quiet and to be meditating. Like this is this is a time to to go after those dreams and those ambitions and and to have the courage to to be yourself 100% um, as well. 
So Leo has many wonderful traits, including generos generosity and compassion. And it's a good time to turn those characteristics inward and focus on your desires and your needs. This new moon wants you to dive deeper into, into what your heart needs from you right now. So think tapping into your inner child, having more self-compassion, living with more presence and feeling more into life or finding what lights your soul up, right? So this is, this is a good time to think about, you know, what are you passionate about? What lights you up? You know, like now is the time to, to think about those, um, those kind of things. So the date of this new moon, 8-8, eight, eight, and 8-8 eight, eight is a very powerful number. It's kind of like a double, a double infinity number. So it's especially auspicious, you know, because now, now it's known as the Lion's Gate portal. And it happens every year on August the 8th, you know, for thousands of, and for thousands of years, this has been observed and honored as a time of energetic influx and activation. This gateway is marked by an alignment between the earth and the star Sirius, which is the brightest star that we can see. And Sirius rises in the sky, Orion's belt directly aligns with the pyramids of Giza. And from our perspective on earth, it appears, it appears that Sirius comes closer to earth. So this is a time of increased cosmic energy, you know, flowing between the physical and spiritual realms. And it's a good time to manifest your intentions and connect with your higher self. So this is all about, you know, connecting with your true self, with your higher self and going after those dreams and, and those ambitions, right? And, you know, literally the universe and the cosmos has your back right now, you know, so, so go after everything, go after everything uh, that you want, like a lion. Um, this new moon has a serious side um, as well. And it will set off um, with a, a Uranus square, which is a tense pairing and has a way of instigating changes. So this, this can be a time of great change as well. So due to this, now is the time to make a big shift in, you know, in your lives, even if, you, even if we don't necessarily feel super ready you know, to make a change. And of course that can sound a bit scary. So in true cosmic form, if, you know, if we don't you know, embrace the growth, the universe will do it for us, right? Because if something needs to happen in our lives and we don't do it ourselves, the universe does it for us. For example, if we're in a job that we're not supposed to be in and we just stay, you know, the universe, the universe will end that job for us in, in some way, right? So therefore, it's best to handle and take control as to how we can evolve, you know, our, our lives uh, forward. So you may be better off focusing on creating necessary endings than the new beginnings. And the T-square forming between the, the moon and, and these two planets is bringing in an unpredictable energy. There, there's a lot of unpredictable energy now um, as well. So this new moon is highlighting the, the, the change that we are going through this year and its influence might be, you know, breaking old patterns and habits than from planting seeds of, of intention. So T squares are moments of crisis and wake up calls. Like now can be a time of, of major um, wake up calls. And this new moon is surely going to deliver an important message. So now is the time to let go of what wasn't serving you, whether it's bad habits or even bad jobs, as I, as I mentioned. While there's no need to search for answers, you know, it's just good to acknowledge what must be done to create meaningful change is like the, the first step. So yeah, so now is the time to, to make uh, big changes as well. So this transit, especially with Uranus being activated, you know, can, you know, can make for, you know, scattered, anxious, can make you feel scattered, anxious, or uncertain about things that we were once uh, very clear about. But being uncertain <clears throat> isn't necessarily a nail in our collective, you know, coffins. So the shaking of our reality can help us see things in a new light. You know, a lot, a lot of things are being shaken up right now in our own lives and, and in the world as well, right? There's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of confusion and a, and a lot of division in the world right now. So that, you know, that's in tune with, with all of these uh, Leo energies as well. So it can help us see things in a new light and see new perspectives in life and, and evolve. Uncertainty can open us up to new potential, but the key is to stay present and learn how to, how to release attachment uh, to control as well. 
So the, the vibes of this new moon are intense, but as long as you focus your energy on embracing the strong Leo energy, you'll be able to make it to, to the other side of these uh, intense energies. So Leo is also the ruler of the heart and the spine. So at a time when there's endlessly, which is endlessly filled with fear and uncertainty, it's time for, you know, for some strength to emerge with plenty of backbone and a whole lot of love as well. So if you're feeling, you know, a call to, to leadership, you know, this lunar lift is like a launch pad, you know, for, for you to be a leader and for you to, uh, you know, find your throne, right? So a Leo time is, is a great time like for new leaders to emerge in, in all ways, right? Of course, you can be a leader in many different ways. You can be a leader in your own life and you can be a leader in a group or you can be a leader in the world, right? So, so now is the, is the time to, to embrace you know, that leadership uh, energy. So, <clears throat> so these are some things to keep in mind now in the, the new moon in Leo. So make sure you're, you're, you really are that into it, right? Make sure that whatever you do right now is something that you really feel, something that you believe in really strongly and that you feel really passionate about, right? Like, like yeah, think like, oh, like, is this really important to me? Like, how important is this thing? And, and how passionately do, do I feel about this, right? So if you say yes, but your soul says no, you know, listen to that, right? Listen to that because you're getting that inner guidance um, from your soul. So, so if you, if you get this, you know, inner guidance from, from your soul that says no, like listen, listen to that, right? So the Leo new moon gives you permission, you know, to, to say things, to say no to things that you would have said yes to before, right? So it's about having that courage, like the courage of the lion to, to say no to something that doesn't like fit, you know, you and your life path and, and all of that, right? So, so yeah, so stay out of activities that aren't lighting your fire, that are not, you know, that are not making you feel passionate uh, about life. So most of us don't have enough hours in the day for the things that we do love, you know? So, so there's no point in doing activities that just drain your spirits, right? So consider this moon your call to, you know, to new avenues of, of inspiration and to really think about those things that, that, you know, that you feel passionate about and make sure they align with your deepest desires, you know, and, and feel yourself be swept up in the fantasy of what could be. So, so yeah, so, you know, let your imagination loose, you know, and, and think about, you know, what innovative things um, you can do, right? So that's, you know, this new moon and Leo energy will, will help you with, with all of that. So wear your heart on your sleeve and lead. Again, you know, there, there's a lot, you know, this, this, this theme of, of being a leader and leading, like that's a very big theme right now in the, in the new moon and Leo, right? So, so if you do feel inspired to be a leader, to start a new group of anything, you know, now is the time to do it. So Hiding your feelings is supposedly a sign of self-control and maturity, but what good does it actually do? Leo energy is all about naked honesty, you know, childlike enthusiasm, unmasked, unmasked excitement. It's anything but remote, cool, and unruffled. So in this new moon, open your heart. So like that's, that's one of the themes of the new moon in Leo too. Like open your heart, like for real, you know, without fear, like open your heart, you know, bravely and with, with courage, you know, and, and, and yeah, obviously when you open your heart, I mean, obviously you're, you're going to be more vulnerable with an open heart, right? But open your heart anyways, with, without fear. So why hold back your truth about an issue, especially when you know that speaking up can, you know, can move something in a new direction or pretend you don't love something, you know, that's so last season, according to the self-appointed tastemakers of the world. So, so really go after those things that you feel passionate about. It's not about what society tells you that you should be passionate about. Like really, you know, listen to yourself and, and listen to that inner voice and that inner guidance, you know, that you have. So try being unapologetically yourself. This is about being yourself and, you know, loving and accepting and embracing yourself in, in all ways, right? For you and not for anybody else, right? But of course, the better you feel about yourself, the more of an impact you're going to be able to make in the, in the world at large, right? 
so so yeah so be yourself and and don't don't you know worry about you know if it feels awkward or controversial like don't care be like the lion the lion never thinks about something like that the lion never thinks like oh yeah well maybe me being too confident is is gonna you know scare somebody else yeah they don't care they they just are their their own selves so so that's um that's what this energy is inviting you to do so romantically this new moon resets your compass so whether you're looking for love with a fairy tale quality or a lover and a best friend you know set aside cynicism and generate sparks so already way past the honeymoon phase of a relationship you can share a, a new adventure and you can produce sexy bonding hormones like dopamine and oxytocin which is like fire for you and uh and the love um the love of your life so this new moon in Leo also activates, you know, relationships and, and, you know, fire and passion and enthusiasm, right? So, so it's a great time to, you know, to find a new relationship and, and to start a new relationship. And, and if you are in a relationship, you know, this, this um, you know, fiery energy can, can bring more passion, you know, into, into that relationship um, as well. So <clears throat> practice enlightened self-promotion. So the term self-promotion gets a bad rap, but, you know, and of course it's challenging marketplace, but then if you, if you do have something, you know, if you do have something of value, you know, you do, you do need to advertise it and, and market it. Right. But think about it, like, instead of thinking about, about it being like in a bad way, you know, like, yeah, enlightened self-promotion. I know that it sounds, uh, it sounds funny. But um, that's a, that's a term that, that I found that I thought you know was um, you know was pretty relevant now in, in Leo in Leo season because you know when like one of the qualities of Leo is also to be in the spotlight right when you're a leader you're in the spotlight you're not like behind the scenes you know you're on stage you're in the spotlight you know you're you're speaking your truth you know you're you're doing big things out there right. So you have to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable, you know, being in the spotlight and, you know, talking about whatever it is that you're talking or promoting, right? But then you can you can do it from, you know, from like, you know, an enlightened perspective or like a more holistic uh, perspective um, as well. So <clears throat> first impressions can leave an indelible mark. And the, the Leo new moon raises the question, how do you want to shine in this world, right? It's, it's all about shining now, right? And giving yourself permission to shine, right? Not being scared to shine and not being scared or wondering like, uh, you know, what's everybody going to think about me? How is society, what's society going to say about me? Or, you know, what's my family going to think? And what are my friends going to think? Because remember that you can't control what anybody else thinks about you right like that that's completely out of your out of your hands that's why there's a famous saying that says what somebody else thinks about you is none of your business because you basically can't control it right the only thing that you can control all the time is yourself right you're like you're the only one that can control your thoughts your words and your actions you can't control what anybody else you know thinks or says about you and the truth is the truth is that you know, everybody's trying to live their lives in the in the best possible way that they can. They're trying to, you know, solve their, you know, their problems or whatever. The truth is that most people don't have, they don't have time to be, you know, they don't have time to sit there and judge your life. You know, they're everybody's trying to live their own lives. So those people that always are always wondering, you know, what everybody else thinks about them and how they're going to be judged. The truth is, you know, the people, you know, they don't have time to be judging you. They're they're trying to live their own lives. So yeah, so you're allowed to, you know, give yourself permission to shine, give yourself permission to shine and make a difference in the world right now, make a difference in your own life and make a difference in the, in the world um, at large as well. So since new moons give us fresh starts, it's worth, it's well worth the effort to put your goals into practice now, right? So think about what are those long-term goals that you, that you've had for a long time and that have been kind of, you know, sitting on your to-do list you know, now is the time to go after those goals. And, and now is also, you know, now, you know, it's, um, we're in August, you know, there's, there's only a couple of more months left of this year, right? So, so think about what do you want to achieve, like, for the rest of the year? 
like you know where do you want to be in december right think about those those kinds of those kinds of goals um whether you're rebranding yourself with a totally new look and messaging or just you know glossing through things you know visuals are leo's language so think about those you know what kind of visuals um you can use and then you can also do a, a vision board i always talk about the vision boards this is a great time to um to do a vision board um as well <clears throat> So strengthen your backbone, right? This is about, you know, this is about having the courage to be yourself. This is about, you know, yeah, having the courage to, to be strong, you know, be strong. So, so yeah, strengthen your backbone in, in all ways. So Leo is a sign of courage and this new moon can help you develop a stronger backbone in all ways. Have you been making excuses and not sticking to your beliefs or freaking out before taking action? Maybe good fashion fear has disguised itself as a perfectly reasonable explanation to avoid taking a risk or, or pursuing what you really want. But now it's time, it's time to let go of the excuses. It's time to let go of the excuses and to start actually taking action for real. You know, like, but taking, you know, like inspired decisive action, right? Taking action with purpose. So now, you know, are you being challenged? You know, should you forge, forge ahead or back down, right? Because we always have a choice. When you have a dream, when you have an ambition, you always have a choice. You can have a dream and you can have an ambition and you can make the choice of not doing anything about it. And just, you know, it's always gonna be a dream or, or an ambition that you're never gonna do something about it or else you can have a dream and ambition and you can actually, you know, do something about it. You know, you, um, you, know, you put action behind it. You put action behind it and you you set yourself goals like with you know timelines and all of that right but the choice is always yours right so you know if you want it like pounce on it like a lion would pounce on it right and that's what this leo new moon is is inviting you to um to do so your willingness to fight for your desires is the first catalyzing step so as as royal you know like leo is like a royal sign so Leo shows us how to lead with heart and nobility. So there's always going to be people who oppose your stance, always. There's always going to be people that like what you're doing, and there's always going to be people that don't like what you're doing. But then again, you know, that shouldn't make a difference to you. You need to go after your dreams and ambitions, you know, and you can't please any everybody. You know, that's impossible. So, so yeah, so you need to go out, you know, you need to stay true to yourself and, and your path and your vision and not worry about what everybody's going to think because everybody's going to have an opinion that you know you have no control over. So this new moon reminds us that it's, you know, it's okay to be respected and moreover to respect yourself, right? Of course you have to respect yourself and you have to respect um others. So um so leaders leaders brace trails and again Leo Leos are leaders. So you know, this is your chance to to be a leader. So which might mean standing alone for a minute or the six months to follow. But leading up to the full moon in Leo, you know, it's about taking that brave stance, which will attract people who haven't had the courage to advocate for themselves, right? So if you're the type of person that is usually, you know, behind the scenes and, you know, you're scared to, you know, voice your opinion because, you know, you, you might wonder what people are going to think about you or whatever, you know, now is the time to 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 put that fear behind, right? And now is an invitation to, you know, to step more, like step more into the spotlight, like a Leo, um, like a Leo would. So vo vocalize your appreciation. Uh, pride can be the shadow side of Leo's expression, but a healthy uh, sense of self can strike just the right balance. No, I'm not suggesting, you know, that you, you know, you don't have to think that you're better than, than everybody else, but you do need to have, like, you do need to, you know, love and accept yourself and, and yeah, and just have like, you know, just embrace, you know, your, your courage and your confidence and, and all, and all of those qualities. So, um, so yeah, so it's, it's about giving yourself permission to, um, to, to be strong, you know, and, and not to, not to be scared of, of that strength or to be intimidated um, by that strength. So find at least one thing to celebrate about yourself, right? And of course it would be good if you find more than one thing, right? Like think about like one exercise that, that I tell my, my coaching clients to do 
is um, I, I ask them to to make a list of things that they that they love or they or they like themselves. And, and of course, it would be great if they can make a list of 100 things that they that they like or or um, love about themselves. But yeah, if you get to 100, like it would, it's great. But it's not about how many things you put in this list. It's it's about making that list and 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 really thinking about why do you like love and appreciate yourself, right? Because you need to love and appreciate yourself first in order for somebody else to to love and appreciate you, right? So um, so yeah, so celebrate yourself in in all ways, right? So um, and yeah, that can involve you know you you know you can dress up and, and do a photo shoot you know <laughs> to celebrate yourself in this uh, you know Leo uh, Leo new moon. So just appreciate yourself, appreciate yourself in all ways. So um, activate your creative side now as well. You know Leo energy is is all about uh, being creative as well. You know be creative and and think um, outside the box. So it doesn't matter if you're, you know, rhythmically challenged or you haven't drawn anything more intricate than stick figures for years. You know, the point is to dive in and unleash your creativity. Think about different things um, that you can do. So it can be like developing a craft or treating yourself to an online course, you know, or looking into different techniques or lessons with a dance instructor, you know, dancing, you know, dancing lessons and learning different dances is, um, is a lot of fun. And it's also a great way of meeting new people as well. Lots of couples that I know have met in dancing classes. So that can be some inspiration for somebody, you know, that wants to find, you know, meet new people and find a relationship. So, yeah, so, so Leo is all about going after, after what they want, you know, and if you make a fool of yourself, who cares? <laughs> you know, you're going, you're going after, you're going after your dreams, right? So yeah, like how, give yourself permission to to be really courageous and, and go after your dreams and your ambitions. So yeah, the new moon and Leo in love, you know, as I've been saying in all my presentations, you know, this is the summer, this is the summer of love, you know, like there's been so many planetary alignments, you know, that have been aligned for love. And this new moon in Leo is, is another alignment that, you know, that really helps with love, you know, fiery, passionate love, you know, in, in all ways. So um, love is a 24-7, 365 kind of thing. So sometimes the universe, you know, gives, you know, puts vibes your way to make romance an even bigger part of your life. And like right now. So this new moon in Leo, it's basically funneling tons of love straight into your heart. So open your heart and, you know, let all that fiery Leo energy love in, you know, and when you do that, it'll do an amazing job of opening yourself up to new possibilities. You open yourself up to new possibilities, to new love, to new relationships, you know, just open yourself up, you know, because you, you just never know. You just never know um, what can happen. But you need to be open, you know, if you if you want to find a, a relationship, of course, you know, you need to love and accept yourself in all ways, of course, but then you also need to be open, you know, to the possibility of finding a, a new love and, and, and a new relationship. And you do that by opening your heart um, in all ways, you know, with the courage of a lion now. Okay, so uh, the new moon Leo affirmations for the different signs. People always ask me for this. So yeah, so, so, so take notes, take notes for your signs because I'm not gonna, you know, when we're in the discussion, I'm not gonna remember all the affirmations. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember all the affirmations for the signs. So, so write down your, your affirmation. So Aries, I will embrace my inner artist. So I know, I know that there's, you know, Aries in the house tonight. So embrace your inner artist, you know, embrace that creativity that, that I spoke about, you know, that you think about different ways uh, to, to be creative. You know, you can paint, you know, you can sing, I mean, you write, write poetry, you know, write a book, <laughs> you know, like there's so many different things um, that you can do. Sing, you know, sing, uh, chant, you know, can do all kinds of things. Taurus, I will make my ancestors proud. So that's that, that's an interesting one, right? Because you know we carry so many different generations with us, right? Energetically and and in all ways, right? But of course, you know you need to do something that you feel passionate about, right? And many times, many times these things are carried down, you know, through generations. 
but um but Taurus is you know, Taurus is very they're usually close to their families right so um and it's a land sign and it's a very practical sign as well so do something of course do something that makes you feel happy and then you know it will probably make the rest of your family happy and your ancestors are happy as well um Gemini I will tell a new story about myself this is one of my favorite topics I'm always talking about stories and how you can change those stories right because you can't change something that has happened to you in the past but you can change the story that you're telling yourself about something that happened in the past right and these stories are incredibly powerful these stories are incredibly powerful when you start looking at the story that you're telling yourself about you you know about love about relationships about men about women if you start looking at that story of that at those stories and if those stories are very negative find a way to turn those stories around because if you want to attract a relationship into your life there's no way that you're going to you're, there's no way that you're going to be able to attract a nice relationship into your life if you keep on telling yourself an extremely negative story or if you don't believe you know that there's any you know good people uh, good available people out there right so really look at those stories so so now you know it's an invitation for gemini um to to look at those stories cancer i will let my true self shine so cancer is really in tune with this leo energy because it's about being true to yourself and it's about giving yourself permission to shine shine like like that courageous lion you know and yeah don't be scared to shine and and actually cancer usually is not in the spotlight <laughs> you know cancers don't like being in the spotlight right i mean leo loves being in the spotlight and aries loves being in the spotlight the fire signs love the spotlight and sagittarius as well but yeah cancers are usually not in the spotlight cancers like to be you know behind the scenes taking care of the house and taking care of their families so, I mean, I'm not saying that you, you know, you don't have to be on stage on a spotlight. I'm not saying that, but, you know, give yourself permission to step, step out of your comfort zone, at least a little bit, you know, and, and, and yeah, give yourself permission to, to shine just a little bit. You don't have to be too sparkly and too shiny, but just a little bit more than usual. Leo, I will celebrate myself, of course. <laughs> so now, I mean, Leo, you know, yeah, now, of course, with the new moon in Leo and the sun in Leo, I mean, Leo is going to shine even more than usual, right? Even more than usual. I mean, that's why I got inspired to wear this very sparkly necklace that I'm, you know, that I'm wearing because this necklace shines like the, the way that Leos are going to shine now, right? So yeah, so Leo, celebrate yourself and shine in all ways, you know, more than, yeah, now is, now is the time to, yeah, to really shine and sparkle. Virgo, I will heal my heart. So as, as I mentioned, with this Leo energy, you know, the invitation is to open your heart more, right? But of course, when you open your heart more, you're more vulnerable, right? So of course, you know, you have to heal your heart as well right? You have to heal your heart as well. And that's, that's always the case, right? I mean, I think that every day, you know, we have to heal our hearts um, in, in some ways, right? But it's, it's about opening your heart. It's about healing your heart. And it's about giving yourself that, you know, that self-compassion and, and forgiving yourself, right? Forgive yourself for anything that you feel that you did wrong in the past, right? And, and learn from whatever mistakes you made. And don't beat yourself up about any mistakes that you made, which goes back to the stories of what you're telling yourself, right? So learn from every experience, learn from every experience and, and take those lessons. And then, you know, you can create better things in your life and you can create better relationships, you know, from those lessons. But yeah, focus on, on healing, on healing your heart in all ways. And, and to give yourself that, you know, that forgiveness and, and that self-compassion as well. Libra, I will recommit to my dreams. Okay, Libra, think about what those dreams are and how are you going to recommit to, to your dreams? So yeah, so really think about, you know, you know, if you had goals at the beginning of this, if this, of this year, if you made New Year's resolutions that you forgot about, you know, in at the end of January, you know, think about what, what were those dreams? What are those dreams and those ambitions that you have? And and now is the time to go after them, right? 
so think about how how can you recommit to to those dreams and of course recommitting to something you're you're doing a commitment you know it's a commitment with yourself right it's a contract with yourself right and many times those are the hardest ones to follow through right because if you sign a contract or an agreement with a company it's like you feel more committed right but when it's something like if you do a contract with yourself you're like well it's just with me who cares right but those are actually the most important contracts, right? The commitments and the contracts that you have with yourself. So really look at that because, you know, because this is the time to, to look at that. So Scorpio, I will chase after my goal. So Libra and Scorpio, you guys can work together. <laughs> you guys can work together, you know, redefining those dreams and then, you know, and then going after, you know, chase those goals, chase those goals like, like, like lions, right? So you, you guys can work together, you know, you guys can get together and, you know, um, uh, see what those, you know, see what those dreams and those ambitions are, and then make a plan, make a plan, make those goals, you know, make timelines, make vision boards. I mean, the more energy you put behind, you know, you know, getting those dreams and those ambitions done, you know, the, the more they're going to start materializing and the more they're going to start manifesting, right? Because when you have when you have a, like a clear intention and you put that intention out into into the universe into the world and, and of course you have to disconnect from the outcome as well but then the universe will bring people events and circumstances into your life which will help you achieve whatever dream and, and goal that you have so yeah so libra and scorpio you guys should work together sagittarius i will treat others how i want to be treated of course that's a golden rule that we should all follow every day right but especially now, you know, it's being highlighted for uh, for Sagittarius. And, and of course, you know, Sagittarius is another one of the fire signs. You know, Sagittarius can be, you know, very fiery and, and very, you know, impulsive. So, yeah, so now is an invitation, you know, for, for you to be, you know, kinder in a way, right? Be kinder to yourself and, and be kinder uh, to others um, as well. Capricorn, I will cultivate abundance. So for Capricorn, it's all about abundance. You know, think about different ways that you can cultivate that abundance. You know, think about different ways to, to, to make money. You know, of course, money is abundance, which is all energy. And, you know, you can have abundance in, of course, love and, and you know, with your family and, and your home. I mean, abundance is everything, right? So think about different ways that, that you can cultivate that abundance. And of course, it's all about feeling it's all about having a mindset of abundance, right? Like think about, do you have, do you have a mindset of abundance or, or do you have a mindset of lack, right? So when you have a mindset of abundance, you focus on, 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 you know, gratitude, right? Having an attitude of gratitude, being grateful for those things that you have in your life, right? Because the more grateful you are for the things that you have, the more you're going to attract things to be grateful for uh, in your life, right? So always think about what you want. Don't think about what you don't want because the more you think about what you don't want, you're actually gonna attract that thing that you don't want, right? That's, that's how the law of attraction works. So always focus on abundance and, and what you want to attract. Aquarius, I will give freely and generously. So yeah, so Aquarius, I mean, Aquarius is a very uh, giving, you know, a very generous and, and giving uh, sign. So yeah, so I will give freely and generously. And of course, remember that the more you give, the more you're gonna receive as well, right? But, but of course, when you give, obviously you have to give without expecting to, you know, to receive it back, right? But then the universe will, will give it back to you in, in, in some way, right? It doesn't, always, it doesn't always come back to you in the way that, that you think it's gonna come back to you, but it always comes back to you uh, somehow. And Pisces, I will let go of grudges and start anew. So yeah, Pisces, I mean, that's, that's my, my sun sign. I mean, I'm sun Pisces and rising, well, rising sign Aquarius. So, so, you know, I can look at both of these things, let go of grudges. I mean, I can't think of, I mean, I can't think of any grudges that I have right now, but, but I would focus on, you know, starting anew, right? Because this is all about the new beginnings, right? So yeah, I definitely have, I definitely have projects that I've been thinking about. It's like, yeah, like I want to add that new beginning energy you know, to, to some projects, um, to some projects that I have. So, 
So yeah, and I, I will give freely and generously. Well, I definitely do that with all the talks, <laughs> with all the talks that I give here, you know. But um, but yeah, so those are those are the new moon and Leo affirmations uh, for all the signs. I hope I hope you guys took notes. Hope you guys took notes because, like I said, I'm not gonna remember all the affirmations. So I hope you wrote down. I hope you wrote down your own um, affirmation. So, so thank you. So may you all tap into the fiery Leo energies now and courageously go after your ambitions and give yourself permission to be your true self and shine like the sun, you know, shine, you know, be that lion, be that courageous lion and shine like the sun. So um, I offer coaching sessions in English, Spanish, Finnish and Italian. You can get in touch with me at lauracoaching at gmail.com. And my website is lauravenenkoski.com. And I have a new Wake Up to Your True Potential YouTube series where I interview amazing people um, all over the world. And um, I post a new interview uh, every Friday. So, um, so be on the lookout for that. I've already done, I've already done 15 interviews and um, I've, posted, I've posted eight so far. So yeah, so, so yeah, it's... Um, Thank you. Thank you again so much. And yeah, tap into those, uh, tap into those fiery, uh, fiery Leo energies. And um, I will, I will stop the recording now.